Hi everyone, it's Joanna here. Today's workout is going to be a quick 20-minute total body strength training. So this workout will work on all the major muscles, your legs, your upper body, as well as your core. So this workout will challenge your muscular endurance as well as your muscular strength. So if you're in a rush, but you would still like to get an awesome workout in, then be sure to join me. For this workout, you'll need a pair of medium weight dumbbells, at least between four to seven kilos each. Okay, so let's start with a quick warm up to prep our body. Start right at the edge of your mat, all right? And let's get into some inchworms. Slowly inch forward, keeping your knees bent. Get into a full plank position. Now push your butt back into a downward dog, back into a plank, and slowly inch back into standing. Good. Give me two more. And as you inch forward, you can start to keep your legs straight. Full plank. Push your butt back into a downward dog. Plank and slowly inch back. All right. You should start to feel the stretch on your hamstrings. Inch forward. Push your butt back and up, look down. Back into a plank and slowly inch up. All right, okay, now give me some squats, okay? We will be doing lots of squats. So squats into lunges. Stand shoulder width apart with your toes pointed forward. So push your butt back, stand back up and lunges. Alternating between your legs. Step back, squat, left leg back, squat and right leg back, good. Two more on each side, squat down, lunge back, squat down, and one more, squat, making sure that your chest is upright and your back flat, good. All right, now, few stretches, okay? So start in a high plank position, bring your left leg forward and release your left arm, twist and look up. Back into a high plank, right leg forward, twist and look up. Good. So you should really feel the stretch along your back as well as your hip flexors. Up, stretch, back down. Good. Let's release all the tight muscles. Back up. One more on each side. Up. And now slowly push yourself back up. Okay, few shoulder rotations and we'll start the first round. Okay, forward, back and just shake it out. Good job. For the first round, we will work on your lower body. Okay, so grab the dumbbells. The first workout is going to be a squat with a press. So place the dumbbells just by your shoulders. All you're going to do is squat down, and as you come up, push your arms straight up into a shoulder press. Good job. So remember, nice and controlled movement. Avoid using too much momentum, okay? Again, this is a full body strength training workout. So we are working on the entire body using compound movements. Press straight up, back down, and remember to breathe out as you press the dumbbells up, down, press up, back down. Plus two more, give me one more. Squat and up, good job. Now, do you feel legs on fire? Do you feel your shoulders on fire? That's what we want. Next, we will be working on your left leg to begin with and then on your right side. So start in a kneeling position. All I'm going to do is drive yourself up in a, into a squat position, lower your left knee, bring it up, okay? So you should feel the tension and the work on your right leg. Good job. So this is actually a strength progression workout. 
if you have been doing your regular strength routine at home, this workout is a great way to really progress and really hitting the leg muscles right here. Good job. Woo. On fire, my glutes, my thighs. I can feel it. One more. And stand back up. Just shake it out. All right. Are we ready to change to the other side? Okay? Short break. Start in a kneeling position. And we want to push yourself up into a squat. Okay, ready? Push yourself up into a squat. Lower your right knee. Tap and up. Okay, so always remember to keep yourself low and this time you should feel the work on your left thighs and glutes. Whew. Good job, there you go. Remember to pace your breathing, stay low. If this is too much, drop the weights, okay? Choose your option. If not, stay with me. Less than 10 seconds. Keep going. Remember chest up. Do not lean forward. One last one. Oh my gosh, okay. Drop the weights. We're not done, okay? We're going to end each round with a quick 30 seconds burnout. So for this round, it's going to be in and out squat jump. Oh, catch your breath. I told you it's going to work on your endurance as well. Now let's go. Jump out, tap into a wide squat and tap. Good job. Look straight ahead. Look at the finishing line. We're almost at the end of round one. Keep going, tap. Stay low. Last few more. Two more. Last one more. And good job. Shake it out. Take a short break and we will move in to the second round, focusing on your upper body. Are we ready for round two? This is going to be your upper body round. So grab your weights. The first workout is going to be a renegade row. So let's get into a high plank position, okay? Choose your option. You can either hold on to both dumbbells and making sure that your back is flat, row one dumbbell up towards your waist, pointing your elbow back and gaze onto the floor. So this is going to work on your back muscles, your shoulder stability, as well as your core, okay? Remember, keep your back flat, spread your feet wider apart to stabilize yourself and avoid dipping your hips side to side. Good job. If this is too much, you can always place your palms onto the floor, okay? Choose your option. And release the dumbbells. So drop the dumbbells, okay? Next, again, we'll be working on the left chest and arm to begin with. Staggered push-up, okay? So place your left hand forward, right hand slightly back. Choose your option, either get onto your knees and slowly lower yourself down, push yourself up, okay? So you should feel the work on the front arm more. Lower yourself and push yourself up. If this is too easy, then let's go for the challenge. Get onto your toes and push. Good job. Staggered push-up, working on one side more. Good. Lower yourself, push up. Remember, do not dip your hips. Do not hike your butt up. Lower, up. Last one more. Good job. Oh my gosh. I told you, it's going to be a strength progression. So we start off easy, we progress in the next exercise. Right, now, right palms forward or the other palms forward, left palm back. You can start off easy, start on your knees. Let's go, down, up, down, and up, okay? So choose your option. 
everybody has their own starting point. And as you progress, get onto your toes. Now let's go down, push yourself up. Again, breathe out as you push up. Halfway there. Nice and controlled. There you go. Oh my gosh. My chest, my arms, everything is burning. One last one more. And drop back down. Okay, shake it out a little bit. The final 30 seconds burnout. It's going so quickly, so let's give it our all, okay? It's going to be mountain climbers. So, get into a high plank position. Only 30 seconds, drive your knees in towards your chest. Go. Running up that hill. Let's go. Push it. Gaze onto the floor. Come on. One final burst towards the finishing line. 10 more seconds. Push. Keep going. We're not stopping right now. Three, two, one. And drop. Oh my gosh. Just like this, we're done with the second round. Take a short break and we're going back to work on our lower body for round three. All right guys, give your upper body a short break. Now let's work on your lower body again. This time, we want to focus on your outer as well as your inner thighs, okay? So grab your dumbbells, stand in a wide squat position, point your toes out, place the dumbbells in the middle, squat down, and push up. Remember to push your butt back and down, and push up through your heels. Up, good job. There you go. Slowly, one, two, and up in one count. Up. So you should feel the engagement on your inner thighs as well as your outer glutes. Push up, starting off easy, and you know that the second exercise is going to be more challenging. Few more. Really point your toes out, your knees out, and good job. Shake it out. Okay. The next exercise is going to be a side lunge with your knees pointing up, okay? So, start at one side of the mat. As you take a wide step to the side, drive your knee up, okay? Ready? One step to the side, bend your foot and point your knees up. So this is going to work on your core balance as well. Again, if this is too much, what you can do is drop the weights and just use your own body weight to begin with. So work with what's challenging for you. Up and point up. Good job. There you go. Give me one more. And up. Okay. All right. Now, let's start on the other side of the mat, okay? So, now, remember, what you want to do is bend your left foot, bringing the dumbbells down this way. As you come up, drive your left knee straight up, okay? Let's go, left knee down. This is definitely a more challenging side for me. Up, point, good. So nice and controlled movement. When it comes to strength training, remember that you should not be rushing, rushing through the exercise. Okay, control, feel the squeeze right at your outer glutes and the stretch on your inner thighs. Point, lift it up. There you go. Give me two more. And last one more. And up. Okay, drop the dumbbells. Guess what's our final burnout? Again, working on your outer and inner thighs, it's going to be side to side shuffle. Only 30 seconds long, okay? 
So let's start on your left side. Let's go. Shuffle to your right, tap, double step, and tap. Maintaining a low position. Shuffling to the left and to the right. So we want to drive your heart rate up to increase fat burn. Good job. Keep going. You're almost at the end of round three. Last one. And up. Oh my gosh. Well done guys. That is the end of round three. Take a short break, drink some water, and we have one last round to go. My heart rate is still high, okay? But we're going to finish this workout strong. The final round is going to work on your core as well as your upper body. So, let's get down into a high plank position. The first exercise is going to be Spider-Man plank. Get into a high plank, drive your knee towards the elbow, okay? So really point your knee out and feel the squeeze on your obliques. Point it out, good job. Remember that whenever you're in a plank position, your back should always be flat. If you're piking your butt up, then drop your knees, take a short break, and get back into a high plank position, okay? Breathe out as you point your knee forward. That's two more. One more. And drop. Oh my gosh. I am sweating. My entire body is shaking. And this is going to be a really challenging exercise. Side plank, just on your elbow. And we want to crunch okay so again working on your obliques let's go reach out crunch point it out and crunch okay find your center look at one focal point and pace your breathing i know it's hard but guess what you're towards the end of your workout so do not dip your hips lift it high up and crunch Point and crunch, okay? It's not just you working with your body, you're also working with your mind. Last two more, crunch, one more, and drop. Good job. Okay, you know the drill on the other side right now. So this is probably my weaker side, okay? So get into a side plank position. Remember, bring your hips up. Do not drop your hip. Bring it up, point out, crunch. Out, crunch. Good job. Okay, final 40 seconds. Stay with me. Focus, crunch in. There you go. Well, if I'm not talking, I guess you know that it is a tough exercise. Point and crunch. Remember, lift your hip up. Do not drop your hip. Up, point, crunch. That's two more. Balance, one more. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> drop it right there. Okay. Can you see what I look like right now? This is a total body strength training working on your endurance right now. Final 30 seconds burnout. Plank jacks, okay? Get into a high plank position, jump your foot, foot out and your both feet in, okay? Out and in. Nice and easy. Final 30 seconds and we're at the end of our workout session. There you go. I can see that finishing line. What about you? Only five seconds away. Two, one, and drop it back down. Oh my gosh. Amazing, amazing effort. That was a quick 20 minute total body strength training. And before we go anywhere, 
Let's just spend two to three, three minutes to bring your heart rate back down and to cool down, okay? So, just get into a child's pose to begin with. Push your butt back and just relax. All right, just breathe in. We've worked so hard, so it is as important to cool down and bring your heart rate back down. Stay here for another 10 seconds. And just listen to your breath. All right, now slowly push yourself back up. Okay, drive one leg forward. And all I want you to do is to push your hips forward and feel the stretch on your right hip flexor. Oh my gosh, it is raining in here. And now twist, look as far back as you can. Good job. And straighten the front leg and feel the stretch on your hamstrings. So just feel a comfortable stretch, okay? Do not overstretch. And good, now change the other side. Right leg forward. Again, push your hips forward. Feel the stretch on your left hip flexor. All right, reach up and drop your arms down and twist. Look as far back as you can. Good job. And straighten the front leg and just lower your body down and feel the stretch on your hamstring. And now slowly push yourself back up into standing position, okay? Few big arm circles just to end this workout. Back. And now give me three deep breaths. Breathe in and release. Breathe in and release. One last one. Breathe in, stretch and out. Really, really amazing job, guys. It's only a quick 20 minute total body strength training, but as you can see, I am drenched in sweat and I'm feeling really strong to kickstart my day or to end my day feeling really accomplished. So if you enjoyed this workout, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done it and check out a lot more full body workout videos, cardio exercises, as well as strength training on my YouTube channel. And I will see you in my next workout. All the best.